Hey! A new fish. It's the 26th of April, 2019. And it's hard for me to get in here and show you guys this stuff. Spring is a very crazy time around here. But something was shown to me that just... It's just crazy to me. And it relates back to the whole Notre Dame, the Temple Mount fire. Uh, that really kind of went under the radar with a lot of people. This was very significant. It was just, to me, it was just illustrating the synagogue of Satan. The Jews that say they're Jews but aren't. I mean, that's just as simple as it is. And so this all connects together. Everything connects together. You know, God is just revealing all these things in part to all of us who are humbly and sincerely seeking the truth by the word of God through Jesus Christ in revealing to us the times we're in and the diabolical plan that is about to unfold by this synagogue of Satan. All right. There's a whole bunch of things going on there. They just unveiled a replica of the altar of Baal. They call it Palmyra. They unveiled that in Damascus, Syria the other day. Right. And at the same time, they are displaying the good old arch of Baal which you would enter through this to get to this to perform your sacrifice. They're both being displayed at the same time, except the arch is in Geneva, Switzerland, at the Palace of Nations, the UN, UNESCO. CERN is right down the street. But that's where this is being displayed right now. And, you know, there's so much to this, you guys. Anyway, that is going on right now. But when I saw this article right here yesterday it's talking about this old spy yada 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 but it led me back to the independence of israel which we know we have the 71st year coming up on the 14th very important just to say the least okay so may 14th but i went back to israel declaring their independence and this just kind of blew me away what i found here okay their declaration ceremony, and I'll link all this stuff. I know it's a lot, but I just got to give it to you this way. When they declared their independence on May 14th, they told the recipients to arrive at 1530 and to keep the event a secret. The event started at 1600, 4 p.m., a time chosen as to not breach the Sabbath. So at 4 p.m. on May 14th, 1948, they declared their independence. Meanwhile, in the United States of America, Harry Truman was president. Harry was a simple farm boy who was responsible for dropping giant firebombs over like 100,000 people in Japan. No big deal. He also was a key in bringing in NASA and establishing that giant satanic fakery okay and this is all the synagogue of satan all of this this goes back thousands of years but truman recognized the state of israel on may 14th 1948 11 minutes after it declared itself a nation why is that important to put in historically well i'll tell you why because at four o'clock when they declared their independence in Israel, we in the United States are seven hours behind them. So four o'clock would be nine o'clock. So Mr. Truman recognized Israel at 9-11 on May 14th. Now that ain't where it ended because you remember the other day I was showing you these weird maps, right, that I came across? How in Paris the sun sets on May 1st through all the arches, right? Well, get a load of this. Everyone knows we're talking about Harry Truman, right? He recognized Israel. And we should all be familiar with the unfinished upside-down pentagram in Washington, D.C., right? Now, I'm going to do the best I can to illustrate this to you, okay? There's the unfinished pentagram in Washington, D.C. This is Washington Circle. This is uh, New Hampshire and this is Pennsylvania Avenue that runs to the White House and down to the Capitol. Now, you just gotta, gotta get a load of this. On May 14th, of all days, May 14th, the sun will rise in perfect alignment to complete the unfinished 
pentagram. That's crazy. And I hope you can see it because I have to keep this map centered in order to show you the alignment of the sunrise. But this is the unfinished piece of the pentagram right there. And it completes itself on May 14th. The same day Harry S. Truman recognized Israel at 9-11. So, you know what I mean? What does it mean? Not really sure, but it means something. These things are all very ritualistic. They worship the sun that you'd understand. They worship themselves, essentially. They, they believe that they have within them the means to attain from the tree of life and live forever without having to deal with God, without needing a savior, without having to be atoned for the filth of the flesh. And they are of their father, the devil. That's who runs Israel right now, people. That's just the way it is. And not just Israel, but Washington, D.C., Paris, France, New York, New York. This is the New World Order. And the synagogue of Satan is directly behind it all. They're liars, people. Not all Jews are part of this. You understand? It's very, very difficult, and you'll never figure it out and understand it if you're not in the spirit of Christ, because it witnesses the truth. I don't hate the Jews. I hate the synagogue of Satan because they are the seed of Satan, and they're out to destroy, kill, and steal men's souls. Just be aware that you're in this spiritual war, and you're not battling against men. These are spiritual powers and principalities, wickedness in high places. It's a spirit that can only be fought through the spirit of the living God by Jesus Christ. It's the only way to defeat this. So I pray you know him and I pray you seek him if you don't. That's about all I got for you. So peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God 